Oh, snap! Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's destroy 300 likes. Eradicate 300 likes, boy. All right. For those of you that still don't know, the Wall Street Journal reported this past week that two new Switch models are in production as we speak. There's six quoting sources actually on the assembly manufacturing the product that the systems are in production anytime now nintendo just might drop just a sh just shadow drop a trailer surprising us letting us know if the system and we're gonna get to the release dates but i remember how nintendo did the new 3ds xl it was just a trailer all by itself no direct nothing they just boop on their YouTube channel a trailer of the new 3DS, 3DS XL and not shortly afterward the system launched and so from reveal announcement to the actual launch it was a short window of time so it could happen anytime in 2019 but your boy has done some investigating and it's not just anytime but Nintendo is strategic and launching their new hardware check this out boy the 2ds now there's a switch pro and a switch mini coming the switch mini is a scaled back version that's actually a cheaper model scale back some of the features and um, launch it at a lower price point this console right here the Nintendo 2DS was a scaled back cheaper version of the 3DS <coughs> who would have thought Nintendo would have took out 3D in a 3DS only Nintendo and call it the 2DS so they have done this before they've launched ch a cheaper iteration of their current hardware but when when did the 2DS launch? I'm glad you asked. October 12th, 2013. This date is important. It's important. Write it down as I speak. October 2013. You know what Nintendo did? They're like, you know what? We have a cheaper system that could fly off shelves. But parents aren't just going to walk in to buy a system. We need a killer game that's going to cause this cheap system <coughs> to just fly off the shelves. What game launched the same month as the 2DS, um, the new 2DS, 2DS? Pokemon XY. Pokemon XY launched the same month as the cheaper model of the, the the latest Nintendo hardware bruh put some money on this put some money on this Pokemon Sword Shield launches November November 15th to be specific November 15th this year based on what Nintendo did with the 2DS a cheaper iteration they made sure to launch it with a killer IP Pokemon why holiday season when parents are looking for the most bang for their buck 
a new generation of Pokemon with a cheap Nintendo system? It sold like crazy. Nintendo is not a stupid company. They know what works. The same way the new, I mean the 2DS launched the same month as Pokemon XY, very likely, if I had to place my money on one month that the new Switch, the Switch Mini, whatever it's going to be called, it's probably not going to be called the Switch Mini, but whatever the Switch Mini is going to be called, if you had to put your money on a month that the system is going to release, put it on the same month Pokemon Sword and Shield launches. Why? It's a no-brainer. A new generation Pokemon game with a cheaper price point for a Nintendo system. The Switch Mini is going to be geared more towards a younger audience. And this game is going to be the killer IP for the Switch Mini. So, according to Nintendo's past, their history, what they've done in the past... Um, the Nintendo Switch Mini, more than likely, more than likely, is going to launch in November, the same time as Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, this is where it gets a little complicated. Nintendo, for the 3DS, you look at the 3DS as a model of what they did. The 3DS had a cheaper model, and... A slightly beefier model the new 3ds XL now <coughs> this is where it's getting a little different from the switch for the switch both consoles are reported to be in development at the same time right now both systems a cheaper and a more beefier one with the new 3ds XL the more powerful version it launched years after the, the 2DS. The 2DS launched in t October 2013. The new 3DS in the U.S. launched February 13, 2015. So almost a year, a year, ju just about a year later. This is a little different. A little different um, with the Switch. Both systems are in production at the same time. Now, the new 3DS XL, they did have a big game to show the capabilities the new capabilities of the system when i say a big game i meant i mean a more technically challenging game xenoblade um chronicles xenoblade chronicles was an exclusive title to the new um, 3ds xl to showcase the capability that whoa this is a more powerful system it launched about a month or two right after the system. Well, there was a month or two in between Xenoblade and the new 3DS XL. I say that to say this. Witcher 3 is coming out on the Switch. What other game to showcase the capabilities of a more powerful Switch? Either, either Witcher 3 or the new do game again with the switch pro it gets a little bit more complicated because i don't have a, a case study with the 3ds so it is likely witcher is coming out in 2019 too which my i'm betting that both consoles are going to launch on the same day and you get to choose which one you want the cheaper one pokemon uh, well, i'm going to get pokemon on the pro too but Pokemon would be the killer app for that. And Witcher 3 could be the killer app for the more powerful um, Switch. But there is one more example of when this launched. So there's going to be either two launch dates for the Pro. For the Mini, I'm almost certain it's going to launch November with a new Pokemon game. But the Pro gets a little bit more tricky. The Pro, in my opinion, again, my opinion. Oh, obi one, you are wrong. I'm just saying. What I more than likely is going to happen based on Nintendo's track history. It's either going to launch holiday 2019 to get in the holiday rush too. Or, bro, with a new 3DS XL, 
Nintendo did have an Animal Crossing edition of the system and sold it, bundled it with Animal Crossing New Leaf. March 20th, 2020, Animal Crossing New Horizon launches. So, for the Switch Pro, it could launch alongside Animal Crossing just to sell units. <coughs> and so for the Switch Pro, I'm betting on either November or Spring 2020, the, late, the latest. But I'm pretty, pretty sure on um, this um, Switch Mini. Based on what Nintendo did with the 2DS, it launched it the same month as a new generation Pokemon. It makes perfect sense. For Nintendo to launch the new hardware with a new generation of Pokemon. If Nintendo does that, mark my words, Nintendo's going to kill it this holiday season. No new PlayStation, no new Xboxes are launching this holiday. Holiday 2019 is ripe for Nintendo to take. Even though Nintendo's killing it month after month with just the Switch that we have now. This bad boy is outselling the competition every single month. So dudes, what do you guys think about uh, this pretty good theory based on Nintendo's track history of the launch date of the Switch Pro and the Switch Mini? What do you guys think? When do you think the system is gonna launch? Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know. But before you go, bro, bro, Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. Deuces. Oh, we have a Reggie Pizza Me. Yo, yo, yo. This is Ghetto Pikachu from the hood. <laughs> that is so racist.